Woodlands, we have two projects this week. Our first project is going to be a decorative skull. The second project is going to be a customized witch's broom. So for the first project, which will be the decorative skull, you're going to need a skeleton head. This is the one that I purchased. This one's available at 99 cent store. Um, you can find similar items, of course, at 99 cent store. They had a few at Target. They were $3. They don't have the raised embellishments, but they're similar in size. Um, also, you can find some at Dollar Tree, but if you have a 99 cent store, this is the best bet because we're gonna be doing a design and I have said before, I do not have like artistic painting skills. So for me, this is good because I already have something to go off of to match my decor. For that, you'll also need some paint. We're gonna be using our Deco Art Americana. This little paint that was in that supply video that was a little less than $2. I am still using that. We're like five projects and I probably still have like a third of it left. This stuff goes a really long way. And then I've got the purple as well, since my colors again are black and purple and silver mostly for my decorations. And then also our little bag of the different colored um, little blingies. These again are at Michael's. They're gonna be $3 for the little pack and they come in several different sizes. You'll need a paintbrush, of course. This is again in our supply video, um, the Artist Loft package that is gonna be at Michael's, watch their sales. They have some really good stuff going on right now, especially for fall with their canvases and paint supplies. Now for the second project, which is gonna be your personalized witch's broom, you're gonna need, of course, a broom. Now, this broom, as you can see, $2.99 at 99 cent store. You can find something similar at like Walmart um, or Target, whatever is closest to you. This one I liked because the handle's already silver, so it's gonna be a little bit less work for me. And then also for that project, you're going to need a can of black spray paint. Spray paint has a big range of pricing. So, because this is just a little arts and crafts project that we're doing, use this type of spray paint. This one is Project Source. There's um, also one, I think it's called Color Block or something similar. These are gonna be at your Lowe's and your Home Depot. Don't look on the aisles up top where you see the Krylons and the rust and all of those. Those paints are gonna be like four to eight dollars a can. These are at the bottom. They're always just in boxes, like not pretty, just on the floor. 99 cents a can, so. And they go a long way, of course. They just don't have the special properties the other paints, but we're just painting a room. We don't need them to have primers and all that built in. Now the other thing you'll need for the broom project are going to be some ribbons. These ribbons, um, this one was from Dollar Tree, so of course that one's a dollar. This one's at Michael's, it's a little fancier. Um, again, like I always say, watch for your coupons and deals at Michael's, they'll have ribbon on sale all the time. Um, or if you want a nice, fancy, more expensive one, you can also go to their website, go to the coupons, they're almost always going to have 40 or 50% off of one item. So you can save there. And then for the embellishments, um, for the skull, I'm also going to be using a hot glue gun. So if you guys don't have one of these, they're pretty much everywhere. This little small one's maybe six bucks. For the skull project, if you don't already like your base color, of course, first you'll start with painting the skull overall. Um, now, if you are going to be painting your skull, that is one of the times you do want to check just to make sure you're using proper paint that's going to adhere, especially if you're using ceramics. Um, when you go to Michael's or Lowe's or Home Depot, it'll say on the spray paint cans what is best for that material, if it's glass, if it's porcelain, resin, whatever. If you are not able to find a similar skull or don't have a 99 cent store near you, you can also draw out a pattern that you want to use. Now, when you draw out your pattern, of course, you can do that with just pencil or even a Sharpie marker, an erasable one, so you can just take it off once you're done. And then what we're going to do is fill in all of the um, different little raised spots with the different colors to match your decorations. And then anything that's open or the recess eyes, we're gonna do the, um, put some blings in those. Now, 
A lot of ideas for this can come, of course, from like Google Images, but you'll see a lot of these right now at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. These skull heads with all the embellishments and the different colors, there are only a few colors available and they're anywhere from like $15 to $30 just depending on the design. So if you can do this project on your own, of course, you're gonna save money and you're gonna be able to customize it to match everything that you have. Okay, so once you have your skull painted, it's gonna look similar to how he looks. Added some of my colors with the purple and the blacks all around there, and did kind of a mixture on the head. So the next thing you're going to do is add your uh, little blings. And I should mention too, if you don't have a hot glue gun, that's not a necessity. Uh, with these little bling things, they have a flat back on them. You can see there. So you can really use pretty much any glue and it's gonna work. I just use hot glue just because it's what I have. and seems to be pretty quick. And of course you're going to add the blings um, wherever you like. For mine I'm going to add some in the eyes and then kind of in the center of the embellishments that'll help it to look uh, more like the pricey ones. Okay so once you have your little blingies in this is how mine came out. Yours should look similar. Added some in the little recessed areas here. And then on the centers of the flowers, and then the two in the center of the eye. All right, so this is our finished product. Yours should look similar. Um, I'm also going to post a picture at the end of the video to show you guys the um, kind of like the inspiration piece that I found um, to do this little project because a lot of the ones that are already pre made are also in like just golds or white and pearl. So this way, this can be something that matches your particular style and it, you're gonna be the only one with it. Um, again, it's just custom to what your particular theme or your particular colors are. Now the next project we're going to do is going to be the witch's broom, so stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, time for the broom project. So again, supply list is gonna be the broom. $2.99 if you've got a 99 cent store near you. Already has a silver handle, which is awesome. Your spray paint, black, 99 cents, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, your ribbon, which is gonna just vary by where you get it. We've got Dollar Tree, Michaels. And the last important supply is going to be something that you can cut these bindings with. So for me, I'm gonna use this box cutter. Uh, you can use like scissors, wire snips, if they're those metal ones. And you're gonna go through and cut all of these little ties. Once you've successfully removed all of the binding on the broom, your broom will look like this. So we're looking more witchy lady, less cleaning lady. Um, and you will have some that fall out, of course, because we're taking out that binding. And then you're gonna just shape the broom. You can pull these out some more just to get them where they're not so stiff and uniform looking. You just do that like going all the way around, just tugging at the tops. And you can also, where it has these bends, just kind of bend those the opposite way, get them a little more straight from where that binding was. Just keep working it. Now we're going to have more of a round shape. So this is going to be similar to how yours will look. Again, we're going to lose more of these the more that we fluff. So don't, don't go overkill with it. Now the next thing is if you want to be, you know, a natural witch or you have more natural colors, this is fine as is. But as we know, I like to go more Halloween. So I like to do a lot of blacks and purples mixed in. So for this particular broom, I am going to take that black spray paint and I'm going to spray the outsides. I'm going to tape off this silver here and then just get a lot of the fronds. I'm going to leave not completely black because I want to make it look um, 
not so uniform. So I'm going to do that, I will be back, and then we'll continue. So once your broom is painted and your little edges are out, it looks similar to this. And then you're going to take just your little embellishments, whatever you'd like to add. So you can add like ribbon, you can do creepy cloth, whatever, just to add a little decorative touch. And then this is going to be something that I've put out on the front porch. So I'm going to just put some ribbons here near the bottom, lay this out. And here is our finished piece. Again, didn't really have to do anything with the handle since it was already silver. And then if you get this ribbon that is at Dollar Tree, the good thing is it does have the wiring in it. So when you shape your bow, try to put that a little closer for you. When you shape your bow, you can mold it. You can do these little bends in it and things. And that way it'll stay in that shape for you. So as always, I'll put these items together for you and show you how they could look combined with the other projects we've already completed. Okay, so here's how the broom looks. Of course, you can put that like in the alcove on your porch or in your house with your other witch thing around your potions and bottles. So here's an example of how you can put everything together. So we have our Silver glittery winged skull guy. The raven in the cage with roses. This week's skull project. And our skull boa candelabras. So now I'll shed some light on that so you can see it all together in more detail. Okay, so just gonna review all the projects and how this fits together. So the first was our silver winged skeleton guy that we did on the stand with the little blinged eyes. We have our crow with the purple and black uh, glitter flowers. Then we have the project from today, which are embellished skeleton, also with the little bling touches. And then we have our boa skull candelabras that we did in the beginning. I can put these all together if you like this color scheme like this and of course if you want different colors you can always customize anything to what matches best for you. And then as promised at the end of the video I'm going to put the picture of that other skull too, the one that was design inspiration so that you can see some other ideas for decorating. All right, everyone, that wraps up this week's project. So we have our witch's broom and we have our decorative skull. Um, and again, this is multiple projects that we've completed so far and ways you can arrange them together. So if you uh, wanna check those out, those are in the other videos. It'll be linked under my channel. Um, also, if you have any questions on any projects or need any assistance, just put those comments below. I will check and respond to those if you need any help. And as always, make sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest. There will be at least one video a week with some type of project or event. Um, also next week, we're gonna be doing the pumpkin project. So if you wanna go back to that supply video, it'll show you what you need for that. That's gonna include the base, the three pumpkins, the craft pins, and any kind of wire or creepy cloth that you're going to want to use. Um, also some optional paints if you want to be able to customize your pumpkins. Um, and I'll be sharing soon a decorating video with you as well, just to show you some ways that I've put things together in the past, just to give you some ideas for this upcoming Halloween season. Um, see you next time.